Okay, let's go through making a BNC fitting. BNC fittings, this is a BNC fitting here. It's for the video transmission. This is used in professional applications. There's two types. There's the twist on fitting, which we like to use, and there's the crimp on, which security dealers like to use. Crimp ons are fine. Um, they require a $35 tool. Uh, I've made way too many of both of them, twist on and crimp ons, and I find no difference in performance. I think they're just as durable, and I'll show you that in a minute. But uh, if you're using RG59 coax, you need an RG59 BNC fitting. If you're using RG6, you get an RG6 fitting. The difference is slight, but the diameter of the, the fitting is larger on the RG6, so you gotta make sure that you match up the fitting with the cable. Now this, uh, uh, you only have to make BNC fittings if you're using a 500 foot spool of cable. Now our four camera systems and some of our eights come with pre-made cables. The pre-made cables already have the fittings installed on them from the factory, so there's no messing around, there's no tools needed. You take the fitting, you plug uh, yellow to yellow on the camera, and you plug red to red on the camera. And I just wired a camera. It's that simple. Those are the pre-made cables. On the other end, on the DVR end, you do the same thing. The, the video signal plugs into the DVR and the power lead plugs into a little power brick um, right by the DVR and you're done. No fancy connections or anything needed. That's the pre-made cable stuff. So let's go ahead and we'll make a twist on BNC fitting with our Siamese cable. Now Siamese cable means two cables in one. This is an RG59 with an 18 gauge two conductor. So you've got your power and you get your video all in one cable, just like the pre-made cables. But the benefit to using a 500 spool box is you can pull exactly the amount of cable you need, cut it, and you don't have any excess. With pre-made cables, if you have excess, usually you'll pull one end to the DVR, the other end to the camera, and leave the rest spooled up or coiled up somewhere in an attic or closet or somewhere behind the DVR wherever is convenient, but you really don't want to cut pre-made cables because they're very difficult to get them right again once you cut them. It's not the case with uh, the 500 spool boxes. So let's go ahead and make a twist on BNC fitting. Okay, let's go ahead and we'll make uh, three different BNC fittings and uh, we'll use different tools to do this. You don't have to go out and buy these tools, this is just what I had laying around. Um, now this tool right here is our coax stripping tool. This comes with our kits and this really is the cleanest way to get it done and, and wait till you see how simple it is to use. So first thing you do is we take our Siamese RG59 coax and we strip back, this is the power lead and this is the, the video lead. Okay, We take the video lead and the tool and we put our thumb in the tool and our index finger on this little button right here you'll notice that the button pushes in. When you push it in, it opens up this hole right here, and that's what you put the cable in, and then you let go. So we'll take this, we push the cable all the way in, and we let go. Then we spin the cable clockwise and counterclockwise a couple of times, and then we pull. And what you end up with is the PVC outer layer. layer. This layer right here has been stripped back three quarters of an inch. It exposes the, the center copper core half an inch. Now you'll notice that the copper shielding around the outside is really close to the core and you don't want that. You want to pull it back. So you just take your finger and you pull back all the copper shielding. It's just maybe 50 or 60 small copper strands and that's what protects the video signal and makes it um, reliable high quality. Okay, You don't want the copper shield touching the center core. If you do, you're going to get lines in your video, you might have washed out color and some weird looking video. Different things happen if you've got those two touching each other. So you make sure that that's pushed back uh, and there's not a single strand touching it. You take your twist on BNC fitting and you slide it on until you feel it, the center core, go into the fitting. And then you, with a little bit of pressure, you just turn the fitting clockwise and it cinches down onto the cable and you keep turning it until it won't turn anymore. And now you've made a very durable BNC fitting that's going to last the life of the, the, the system. And a uh, piece of cake to make. Now that's using the 
our coax stripping tool. Let's go ahead and just with a regular pair of uh, strippers, let's do it again. I take uh, my strippers and I go back three quarters of an inch and I score the outer PVC jacket. I pull it off. That exposes the copper shielding. I pull the copper shielding back. I go down half an inch and I snip off the waxy protective coating around the center core. Now I've got exactly the same thing that this tool did, only I just did it with some strippers. I take the BNC fitting, I feel it snap in there, I start turning until it cinches down. Now I've got some of the shielding sticking out around the edge here. You see that right around there? It doesn't matter. You just kind of tie it in like that. That shielding doesn't matter if it touches anything. As long as it's not touching the center core, you're in good, good shape. Okay, again, another really durable fitting that's going to last for the life of the system. Let's make one more and I'll just use a razor knife. Now this isn't the best tool in the world. Sooner or later someone's going to get hurt doing it this way. But the point is, is to show you, you really can do it several different ways and get exactly the same outcome. So I go, come back three quarters of an inch and I score the PVC jacket. I pull it off. I pull back the copper shielding and then I score the waxy insulation around the center core and I pull that off. Now I've got again the same exact stripping and fitting ready to go. I take my BNC fitting, I slide it on until I feel it snap, I twist down until it locks into place and it won't turn anymore. And that is it. I clean up the uh, copper shielding by just twisting it around the base and you've got another completely durable, high quality, reliable BNC twist on fitting. That's how you make BNC fittings. So now we've got this BNC fitting um, made. Well, let's, let's go ahead and finish the power side and, and wire up the camera. Let's see, in fact, time me. Let's see how long it takes. You simply just strip back the power leads a little bit and you'll see uh, positive uh, red, negative black. And uh, you strip back the copper so it's showing about a quarter of an inch. Can you see that? About a quarter of an inch back on each one. You take a metal uh, power fitting and on the power fitting it shows positive red, negative black. Can't get it wrong. There's no way to get it wrong. And uh, you just simply insert both the red and the black into the holes and you tighten them down. Okay. Now you're ready to go. You take your, uh, get the camera over here, um, you take your video lead, you plug your video lead in, that's good to go. You take your power, slide your power in. We just wired a, a, uh, a camera system. It's that simple. That's ready to go. Now obviously, if you're mounting this outdoors, this should be protected. These are not waterproof. No one makes waterproof outdoor connections this way. You always want to mount it if you have, go down to the hardware store, get an electrical box or something. You mount the electrical box on the wall, you bring the cable in the back, you make your footing, you put this inside the box and you mount the camera to the box. That's how professionals do it. And that is the way, that's the proper way to do it.